Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from FreeGameMan.com and this next Q&A video is about VPNs or virtual private networks. Do you need one? Well, it really depends. If you want to remain anonymous and or private, then yes, definitely. And certainly if you don't want to get hacked or your information to get hacked. So let's go through what a VPN is all about. But first I want to say this. VPNs should not be used for illegal activity. That includes, of course, downloading content that you should not be downloading. So now that we have that out of the way, let's continue. Let's just say that you want to send an email to your buddy without a VPN, which most people are doing. This is your buddy over here. And you're going to send out an email that has passwords maybe in it, a document that you don't want anyone else to read or see. And you want it to get there, but you also want it to get there securely. Now the great thing with this particular system, and these are basically routers or servers, if for example, this one is down, no problem, <clears throat> And this one is down, no problem. And this one is down, still no problem. It will find its way there. Boom, 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 boom. And voila, your buddy gets the email. <clears throat> but while he got the email, did it get there securely? Because there could have been a hacker here, here, and here, and so on you get the idea and well that hacker or those hackers could be you know looking at your email and they could have read the document and well you know that would not be a good situation so while you know the information will get there it might not get there securely and certainly you will not remain anonymous they will know where you're sending it from and and you know which what who's your ISP and all that kind of information so if you want to remain anonymous and you also want your information to get there securely and privately then a VPN is definitely the way to go now how does it work well you have your VPN over here and this could be in any country really and you are about to send out an email to your buddy. Now VPNs use a tunneling protocol. The tunnel doesn't necessarily have to be straight, but for this purpose I'll draw it straight. This is the tunnel, and this will be the data inside of the tunnel. So you send out the information. It goes through this encrypted tunnel. Also, everything in it is encrypted and it goes to the VPN and then BAM to your buddy. So while the hacker here is trying to get in through the tunnel and even if the hacker gets through the tunnel they still got to try and hack the encrypted data that's inside of it. So in most cases nah, they won't bother with this because well it's easier to go this route since most people do not have a VPN. So this is really where a VPN comes into play. Also other benefits, of course, with a VPN, especially when you're talking about, you know, big business and that type of stuff. And they normally have their own VPNs because, you know, they can print documents on a shared VPN and all that kind of stuff. But for most people, it's about, you know, trying to remain anonymous and private and staying away from prying eyes. Not for illegal activities, of course, just to remain, you know, private and know that when you send something out, it's going to get there and it's not going to be taken and stolen and used for God knows what kind of purposes. Now, you, you know, you can build your own VPN, of course, but that's going to take lots of money and time and a lot of people don't want that. My suggestion would be to do this. Go with a service, like for example, private internet access, privateinternetaccess.com, a fantastic overall service. They are very, very fast. And if you pay for the yearly plan, it's around $3.33 a month. That is uh, US currency, but very, 
you know a really good deal <clears throat> and you can install this on a number of different devices like for example you know android your computer system and so on and so forth i think it's up to five different uh, devices that you can install that on and it's relatively good and i have this it works extremely well speeds are fantastic now another great thing with vpns is for example if you're in a particular country and you want to watch a video from another country sometimes your country won't allow that to happen you can then log into a vpn that's in that particular country and then you can watch it in your country so that'll get around some of the regulation the rules that are in a country specific to playing certain video content now while this is a great service there are others out there airvpn.org is another great one a bit more expensive and hide my ass is another one as well now a lot of these services will say <clears throat> that they do not keep logs but if they are contacted by the courts they will start to log so keep that in mind if you think that you know being on a vpn your you know completely anonymous and your ip address is shielded and no one's going to find out about what you're doing if for example um, you know you are downloading massive amounts of data and you know and you're doing illegal activities and you're found out about by whatever you know secret service thing that's in whatever country you're in and they want it they want to find out more information and log what you're doing they can do it believe me so just keep that in mind but either of these services are really really good now some people say do not purchase a vpn service that is in your particular country so that is something else that you should keep in mind if you want to remain completely anonymous pay for a service using bitcoins or something like that in a different country to remain completely anonymous and i'd love to hear from you on this you know what vpn service do you have maybe you built your own vpn and uh you know maybe some you can offer some others uh, you know comments and uh, insight into uh, vpns and whatnot in any case i hope this has answered your question remember to keep your uh, questions coming you can contact me if you want to on 3dgameman.com or you can just post below.